6.57 a.m. We are back again. Um, it's a very chilled Friday, and we were just talking about the fact that it is very cold here in in Pretoria. And I imagine Joburg is obviously much colder, but it's got nothing on what's happening in Bumalanga. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Uh, so right now, we're actually going to have a very encouraging and interesting conversation because we're joined by uh, Apostle Peter Jones. How are you doing, Apostle? I'm doing supernaturally well in you, sir. Ah, doing very, very well. Can you hear us clearly? Oh, yes, yes. Very, very well. Okay, perfect, because you're also very, very clear as well. Uh, now, Apostle yes. Apostle Jones is doing a lot of amazing work um, in the uh, Lofeld low households, right? Uh, doing a lot of giving uh, during a time when we're seeing a lot of people actually having a mentality of taking rather than sharing. Mm. So we're very excited to be having a conversation with you because I imagine that the things that you have to say to youth today um, and also I suppose South Africa as a country are things that we need to hear especially right now right? Oh yes yes Um, not only South Africa Mm -hmm. um, actually um, I mean I'm an international minister oh that is fantastic I have yes I have a lot of followers all around the world even in the in the countries that I never even actually I would have followers from okay um I have people that follow me from Pakistan, from Iraq. Imagine those countries that are, you know, striking to buy wars and all those things. Those countries are war zones. But oh, they are following me in yeah. all my social platforms. Okay. And they really love the message that we, we, we give into the world. I see. Uh, most- I see. Yeah, let yeah. me let me just uh, give a very short synopsis or a description of who you are, um, and then we're just going to get back into getting to know you better as the person beyond the text, right? Amen. Yeah, so Apostle Peter Jones uh, has showed his unwavering support to families in the Lofeld during the lockdown. Uh, Jones, the founder of New Creation Embassy, has been living in the Lofeld for the past three years. While continuing his ministry through live streaming, he ensured that those in dire need of support were taken care of on a physical level as well. That is quite an amazing thing because I think think those who who don't know Christ and who look at what's happening within the church from a distance sometimes accuse us of not being involved in the real world or in a physical manner. Um, so I love the fact that you're actually out there and you're you're one of, of a lot of ministers who are actually out there and doing something that the, the world can t- feel tangibly, right? Sorry, yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, yes. that's awesome. So, tell us a bit more about yourself. So, you've only been in the low felt for the past three years, right? Uh, where yes. were you? Where were you uh, before that? All right, um, I was born uh, at Soweto. Yeah. Um, at Bara Hospital in the eighties. Yeah. And then um, I moved when I was a bit younger to the Free State for some years, and then I came back to to, to Johannesburg. Oh, so, I see. So ever since, actually, I've I've been a minister, of, uh, minister of the gospel for, from a very young age. Oh wow! Um, yes, I started doing all kinds of miracles you can think of. Some you don't even know really exist. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I I do almost everything. Healing, oh, I prophecy. see. And I started as, as, uh, at the very young age, and mm. I've gotten a chance to also travel to every province around South Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. When the Lord sent me to Nelspruit in 2018, He sent me. He said, "Take my gospel to the low field, Yeah. And I will. I will introduce you to the world from that uh, from that province. Oh, so wow. that's when I came to to the low field. Oh wow! But I, I've been traveling. You know, I, I'd come down here, mm. minister the gospel to the people, mm-hmm. and then after that, go back to Johannesburg, and I then see. come back here again, minister. And then go to other provinces also. So I was I was traveling to other provinces within that space also. Oh wow, that is amazing! I think one thing that I find interesting from your from the t- your testimony that you've shared right now is you you yes, have sir. or what stood out for me is just the word obedience, right? Uh, because God, yes. yes, you have you've listened to God from when you were very young, and you've obeyed yes. um, Him sending you and pointing you towards certain directions. And I I really 
actually I think this is something that I can it resonates with me because at times like what we're going through right now it's actually yeah. quite difficult to to listen to God um, and trust in God in times of of, of crisis um, can you speak yeah. a bit more about that like what has kept you uh, focused on God and not focusing on things of the world um, and how they shape your life all right um, the most important thing that I always tell my followers yeah is to stay in prayer Try by all means necessary to live a prayerful life mm, and spend mm. most of your time in the Word of God. You yeah. know, um, well, because I'm an apostle, those that follow me, they're apostolic. So I teach them around that. You know, the apostolic, uh, you know, office is mm-hmm. not the, 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 the office that is actually uh, understood by many people. Many people are actually exposed to the prophetic, to the evangelist, mm. to the pastoring, to the teachery, yes. right, and other offices, but they were never really exposed to the apostolic. So I teach them mm-hmm. as an apostle that the apostolic office mm-hmm. is actually the office that can function in all the fivefold ministry, fivefold ministry. Oh, and I yeah. teach them on that. Yeah. So you spend most of your time in the Word of God, mm-hmm. understand mm-hmm. it for yourself, mm-hmm. meditate upon it, and Spend your time in prayer. When you pray, mm-hmm. that's when the Lord is going to speak to you very clearly. And mm. that's when the Lord will direct you and tell you how to, you should go about everything. I spend many years yeah. in prayer, many years. Even I today, I spend hours and hours of prayer. In fact, I didn't sleep from yesterday. Mm. I slept around 6 in the morning. Oh, wow. I was spending a lot of time with the Lord, trying to, you know, because you, I need to get, you know, uh, proper guidance from Him. Yeah, Most yeah. believers, they, they cannot spend even five minutes in prayer. Mm. The body quickly tells them, you know what, you cannot do it. Exactly, it. yeah. You were talking yeah. about the giving. When mm-hmm. we were doing the giving, we, we had to go far away, two hours to three hours away. Mm-hmm. From five in the morning up until five in the afternoon. Sometimes, I mean, in the afternoon. Sometimes we'll be back around seven in the in, in the evening. Mm-hmm. That requires a lot of mental strength, and it needs a lot of you need to you need to actually be strengthened by the Lord to be able to do this. Yeah, I can because imagine. We were going house to house. We would would travel from this street to the other street because I I told my team I said I don't want people to come to. To you know, to to a specific building, yeah. and then we agreed, you know, with all the organizations that I work with, that we're not going to let people to come to a, a specific location or drive to their houses. That is also mentally, you know, it it deals with you in mm, another way. Mm, mm. But we were so strong because the Holy Spirit was with us, and the Holy Spirit was guiding us. Mm. And this thing for it to even come, I was praying here two months back. Mm-hmm. In fact, when the pandemic began. Yeah. I said to the Lord, I wish I can be able to help somebody mm-hmm. out there right now who is in need. Oh, And yes. the Lord said to me, well, when I pray for, for things, um, I get the answer like instantly, within a matter of minutes or seconds, I get the answer instantly. Yeah. And then, and then the Lord brought the answer and then we worked on it up until we could we could be able to, to reach all those people around the whole Pumalang area. In fact, before, mm-hmm. I, had, I had announced it uh, on, the, on the radio where I go yeah. that I'm going to give 10 people. I, in fact, I said four, but the number went up, and the Lord brought provision that I could provide for those 10 people. Oh, these from, are the four, people who from are, four to 10, that is incredible. Yes, from four to 10, we've seen him at half a short space of time. Yeah, and yeah. We, we helped people from all around, uh, in fact, the world, basically. Yeah. We didn't help South Africans. We helped South Africans, Zimbabwean, Ghanaian, Malawian, mm. all the, everybody. In fact, even those people who didn't have paperwork, sorry, mm-hmm. those who didn't have papers in South Africa, who are still waiting for their papers to come, we still managed to help those kind of people. Oh, if I you want see. To know, say, my the the thing that I most ministers I'd I'd say to them, brothers, yeah, go out there and see your people, the people that you're ministering to. Go yourself, mm, mm, go to mm. those houses and see where the people are staying. Go and see the conditions they live in. 
then you will understand why the Lord appointed you, why the Lord chose you yeah, for this yeah. country, and why the Lord chose you for the world. Yeah, because, so I'm, I'm actually yes, uh, very, quite interested. So in with regards to the ministry that you do, I imagine that you work with a lot of young people, um, and yeah. it's, it's obviously intro- you exposed you to um, you know the fears that young people have, even when they know yeah. that God is with them. Because, I mean, you know that sometimes even though you're high, 100% sure that God is with you. I'm, I'm taken aback to when the Israelites saw God open, split apart an entire ocean for them. Um, and once yeah. they reached the other side in the desert, they began doubting again um, and began yeah. being very, very, you know, thinking backwards, basically having a very backwards mentality. Um, oh, so yeah. right now, I imagine that a lot of young people, a lot of young millennials are feeling very afraid. Um, and they, as a result, they just move towards the wrong direction, worried about their jobs, worried about their parents losing their jobs. Um, what have you seen as being a an attitude with the youth that you've personally worked with? Yes. Well, I, I'm, I'm youth myself. Oh, yeah, uh, first, yeah. Yes. I, I really that's got very, into the that's age very, of, of, that's very important to acknowledge because we have yes. to know that we're talking to one of us. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, definitely. yeah. That, that has to be Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ began his ministry mm. um, at the very young age. The yes. time he got to the apostles, he was very young. Imagine it could have been very difficult for him to, to, to tell elderly people that they need to follow him. They need to leave their job exactly. and follow this young man called Jesus. So sometimes we have those challenges. Um, mm. Most of our youth, they don't really believe in the in their gift. Mm. They don't believe in mm. their dreams and their vision. And it's very important as a young person to have a dream and mm-hmm. to have a vision. Mm. I always mm. say inside, inside of every person, there is a dream and a vision. If you have the dream and a vision, nothing mm-hmm. can stop you. Right now, we, 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 we are going through the pandemic, mm-hmm. and many people are losing their jobs. Mm-hmm. But I always say, it, it depends on where you are. It depends on what you see. It depends on what you have on the inside of you right now. Yeah. Every job opportunity is inside of every single believer right now as I'm speaking to you. Mm-hmm. Miracles that we see around the world... They've they've been, uh, you know, they've been given birth by the believers. What mm. the man of God does, he when he lays his hand, his hand on you, mm-hmm. he just quickens the process of giving birth. The Bible says we are pregnant with the things of the spirit. So every young person right now mm. is pregnant with a lot of things that God wants to do in our country, even in other countries around the world right now. So oh, when wow. you pray, make sure that you are able to tap into your inner ability, which is the ability of the Holy Spirit inside of you. Mm. That ability is the one that I call a creative spirit. Yes, You can yes. be able to create opportunities for yourself mm-hmm. through your own confession. Mm. The same mm. confession that you said, Lord Jesus, I receive into my love as my Lord and my Savior, is the same confession that you can use for your own salvation in terms of job opportunity, mm-hmm. or you want to be in business, you can start confessing this prosperity upon your life. You can start professing things that you want to see with your life. For example, those who are saying, mm-hmm. well, Apostle, I just got laid off from my work. Let me tell you, you can take yourself back to the same job through your confession of faith. Mm. I'm a man of God. I've sp- just yesterday, I was speaking words upon people. Many people that follow me, they know I speak a word and whatever thing that I spoke within a matter of seconds, it mm. comes to pass. Oh, wow. Instantly. That is powerful. That is very powerful. The same, the same ability that is upon my life is also upon every believer's life. I mm. speak these words by faith. I, I, I pronounce them by faith, understanding the scriptures, mm-hmm. connected with the gift of the Holy Ghost inside of me. Therefore, Many things mm. that I speak, they come to pass. The person can come with any kind of disease, any kind of infection whatsoever it is. Yeah. They instantly get healed because I have faith in the Word of God. I have faith in what is inside of me. I... Let's stop looking mm, mm. for miracles somewhere. 
Mm. Let's start looking on the inside first before yes, we can go yes. and consult elsewhere. Yeah, no, if Apostle, they come to me, I, I really, tell them that. I really, really love what you're saying. And it's actually mm. the, 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 the picture that you're painting that in everything that we do, um, the Holy Spirit is alive and tangible within us. So I think also mm. for a lot of times because we try to rely on ourselves and our wits, mm-hmm. how smart we are in order to accomplish mm. things, we tend to fall short in a lot of instances, right? Um, so mm. I, I actually just wanted to to speak a bit about how uh, the Holy Spirit, because I'm, I mean, the Holy Spirit is very powerful. The Holy Spirit, we always think of, of him as Too this much. mystical being who's powerful. Um, the things that he does is move mountains, raise the dead and split oceans. Mm. But I mean, I, I, I imagine that even in the little things that sometimes people people ignore um you know like the fact that with the with what you have been doing uh in the in the low felt area where you've been mm-hmm. helping families and and sending food around that in as much as god is with you in the prophetic in as much as god is with you in the healing things um and also in 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 the word of knowledge and being able to speak things that come to be um yeah. i imagine that god is just as much with you in doing something as practical as giving uh to to those in need God. in a time like this, right? Hallelujah. Mm, yes. And do, do you have any any uh, uh, partnerships that you you're currently working with? Not only with uh, giving to the low felt area, uh, but just in general in terms of in your ministry, because I think it also just illustrates the fact that um, regardless of how big we are in God, we still yes. need to work with people as well uh, because you Amen. can't always think of yourself as being enough to do everything, right? Yes, true. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, if you want to know, I have a handful of people. Mm. It's not a big mm. number of people that I work with. I have not, well, let me not say the people, but I have a wonderful family, mm-hmm. an amazing family, and they are they are as many as five. Oh wow! The number doesn't exist. That, um, you know, is this is this kids, five kids, or this includes like your whole family? This, this is this is the whole family. I, oh. I call my my blood family and the external family. Mm. This is the family that I work with. I, you know, at the present moment, I said, well, um, let's first focus on impacting people's lives. Let's first focus on showing the people of God that actually we are the light of the world Mm. before we can even go elsewhere. Let us shine this light upon everybody else. When the time comes, Mm -hmm. we will get the opportunity where many people will come from everywhere and say, we want to partner with you. Like yesterday, I just got an SMS from a lady. I couldn't even understand it because I'm not used to that. She, She was saying she wants to partner. It was new to me mm. because I'm used to working with family only. Uh, I, I've helped thousands of people, thousands and thousands mm, and thousands imagine. of people. Mm. And, and, you know, it always comes back to who is grateful, who can see what you can do. Yes. If, you, if you focus mostly on what people will give to you, mm-hmm. you won't get it right. You know, the Bible says when you give to the needy, you lend into God. Mm, and God mm. himself is the one who will touch somebody in order to make sure that your provision is provided for. So for me, when I do what I do, it's mm-hmm. a seed. It's a seed for my family. And I teach them also that, listen, you need to learn to sow a seed in everybody. When you see someone with a need, feel it in your heart mm. that it's time for you to partner with the Lord on that. Yeah, so they are yeah. learning. And I, the Bible says charity begins at home. So I train everybody that is with me mm. that, listen, mm. you need to learn to be a giver before you can be a beggar. Before you can ask, you, before you can ask anything from the Lord, first make sure that the person that is next to you mm-hmm. is provided for. Whether it's transport fee, you know, you can, you can be a partner with the Lord Jesus Christ in a simple way yeah. by giving transport money to the person next to you in a taxi. Yeah, you can, yeah. You, you, you can be in partnership with the Lord by, by when you find a minister trying to build a church somewhere and you send it, you are in partnership. Yeah, it's you actually... Can be in partnership. 
It's actually yeah. very interesting that you're speaking uh, this right now because if I remember correctly, Charles, it was just last week that we were talking about giving, how like the yeah. the topic of how do I remembering my neighbor basically, yeah, yeah and how oh, to yeah. give That's powerful. exactly like remember your neighbor because I mean it's it's a very right now it's the time when people really want to look at what they have and keep what they have, um, yeah. and we're actually very grateful for for because uh, we had what we call the visionathon uh, just last mm. week, um, and we saw wow. so many people just giving, giving just to help the ministry stay afloat, the ministry that is radio wow. and we're so wow, grateful to God. them, exactly, we're really really grateful to have wow. seen that God um, bless them. yes, because they've managed to help us, I mean they've saved jobs uh, they've also yeah. helped the word of God continue to be spread through this platform that is Radio Pulpit um, and wow. where there's so many ministry, there's so many testimonies that we hear, as I imagine that you also get a lot wow. of an over flood of, of testimonies Testimonies from people just testifying oh, yes, yes. how your ministry touched them. Yes, yo, like, like, sir, if you, you know, I'm touched by what you just said right now mm. because I know, I know how it feels like uh, for the person to go through a specific situation, and then you have to take a little bit of what you have and sow it somewhere. Yes, because you're yes. expecting you 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 expecting God to do something in your own situation, it's not easy. Mm, that faith mm. on its own. That is why those people that give like that, they mm. always get the result. Exactly. It's because exactly. they go beyond the flesh. The flesh says, "Don't do it." Mm, Just like me, the mm. flesh told me, "Why do you do this? Mm. Your family needs this. Your your son needs to go to school. Mm. There are so many things that you have to do." But exactly. I said, you know what? For them to be well, I have to do the will of my father. For them to be well, mm -hmm. for them not to get COVID-19, for them mm -hmm. to, not to, to remain in health, mm -hmm. and for everyone mm -hmm. that follows me to remain in health, mm -hmm. I need to store a seed that is bigger than what is killing people around the world right now. Yes. And that's the seed that I sow. And up to this point, nobody has any kind of sickness or any kind of illness mm -hmm. that I know. Mm, I've never even mm, received mm. the call of anybody that I know yeah. that, that has this thing. Oh, wow. And that I is... Pray, mm, mm. Yes, I pray for everyone also that, that, partners, that partnered with this. You know, I call, I call Radio Pulpit our grandfather in the spirit. Oh, wow. Because radio, I, I call it, the, those that follow me, they know I call Radio Pulpit the grandfather of the Christian movement in mm, South Africa mm, and in mm. Africa in general. Mm. Because it's been here for so many years. Mm. I can imagine how many people's lives that it has transformed. Now, when you saw a seed in that kind of a ministry, because Radio Pulpit is a ministry, it's a pulpit, mm. hence mm. says pulpit. When you saw a seed in that kind of a ministry, yes. what, are you, what are you tapping into? You, you're tapping into the unlimited anointing. Mm, that will be mm, able mm. to make sure that you are secure, you and your household. Exactly. It doesn't matter where you are, how you, as long as you've sown a seed to the Lord. Mm, Many people don't mm. understand the meaning of seed. The meaning of seed, the, the meaning behind the word seed, mm -hmm. it means it, it means that it's, it's whatever that God has given you. Before, people used to sow seed of cattle, cows, and all that because that's what God had given them. Exactly. They didn't have finances. But mm, right now, mm. we don't have this kind of finance. We, we don't have cattle and sheep anymore. Now we're sowing the seed of, of money. Yes, yes. But the concept, so the concept still remains the same, though. The, the concept still, still remains, remains the yeah. same. Unfortunately, Pastor, we are, Apostle, we're running out. We're running out of time. Hey, so I just I oh, notice yes. here. I'm actually on your on your on your Facebook page. <laughs> so I'm noticing that you you're having an online uh, ministry, like you're continuing with your ministry on your Facebook platform yes, um, and all of that. So that's actually quite very interesting. Um, how does one yes. get a hold of you if they just want to? Uh, either you know get a word of encouragement from you um, or also just help with partnering with the work that you're doing incredible work that you're doing in the in the low felt amen um, they can contact me either on my Facebook page which is Apostle Peter Jones page 
Mm-hmm. You can Google Apostle Peter Jones. It will give you all the platforms that I'm into. Yeah. Uh, even even or even my website. Mm-hmm. You can also go there to to so any kind of seed that the Lord you know put in your heart mm-hmm. for you to sow into this ministry, so that we can be able to minister this gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to more countries in the world. Right now, we're currently ministering to 142 countries in the world Mm. from South Africa. So we need more support so that we can reach more people. In fact, I really, I would love, with all of my heart, I would love to help more people. I see. More and more people. Mm. Those Mm. that say, Apostle, we have seeds. We want to sow. We we want to partner with you in order to go to the same place or same areas or other different areas. Mm. Partner with you so that we can help people maybe with seeds so that they can start their own garden. You are more than welcome. You can contact me. I'll give the number. Those who are in those areas, most people don't have water. Uh, it's my wish also to have mm-hmm. partners so that we can help them to have borehole water in those areas. Yes. Can it you, will be amazing. Uh, can you please uh, share the number, Pastor? We're really running out of time now. All right. My Sorry cell about is, that. Is, is, all right. So my cell number is 081 zero nine seven six seven zero four let me repeat it zero okay. eight one zero nine seven six seven zero four zero eight one zero nine seven six seven zero four you can send me a whatsapp there you can also call you'll find me this is this that's the number that i use to speak to everybody all around the world you are more than welcome to call there and you'll be welcomed by me personally i don't really use anybody else yeah, you'll talk to me directly okay. and i'll pray for you if you need prophecy you can call if you if somebody sick you can call whatever it is we will be able to assist you yeah, Don't and I, I love how um, uh, how uh, true it is that you're saying because even your Facebook page says that you're always open. Yeah, you're yes, you're sir. you're better than KFC. <laughs> oh yes, thank you so much, Glory. Yes, no, that's awesome. what called, being an apostle. Say. Yeah, no, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight, eh? Amen. Thank you. Anytime when you need me, I'm here. I'm available. We can talk anytime. We can pray. Awesome. Yes, I'd love to call to come and. and and demonstrate the, the the love of God through signs and wonders to the people around Africa, yes. around South Africa also, so that they can see that they are really gifted and really blessed, but very humble too. No, I see. Uh, Apostle, thank you so much for your time. Eh? Have a very beautiful evening. Thank you, sir. I'll do that. All Amen. right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.